Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm CNC Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Dude, have I ever um, talked to you about the uh, F yes or no like theory? Uh, like F U C K yes or no? I don't. We're early in the video, so I don't want to <laughs> say it. Very early. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. I get you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Later, I'll say it. But right I now, I don't know what we're talking about. So yeah, no, okay. I've never heard of it. All right, so. I was reading something. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, I like to read. And heck and, yes. And uh, so, yeah, we'll say heck yes or no. <laughs> for, um, for the first. So essentially, it was talking about when you're when you're trying to date someone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it goes up both ways. So if you're talking to someone and it's not an F yes it's you a, should consider it a no. It's an F no. Not even an F. Just consider it a no. Or if you ever have to say, is this person interested in me? Just consider it a no. Because if they are interested, you have no problem knowing most of the time. So it's like, it's if you're not getting F yes from them, you might, well, you know, it's like, because we, we've all like got some girl's number, texted, like maybe like, maybe they'll they'll text for a little bit or maybe they'll they won't reply for a few days or whatever. They're like, you want to hang out? And they're like, yeah, sure. I'll let you know. Like, just kind of like, it feels like it's not important to you. That is not an F yes. And yeah. the same with you. Like you're, you you meet a girl on Tinder and you're like, do I want to go out with this chick? Do I want or not? It's not an F yes. Like, so you're really just wasting each other's time. All right. So thoughts only, on that. I only have one issue with that. Because by that metric, I'm supposed to go out on all of these dates giving out, you know, heck yes energy. But right? if they're not making you feel heck yes, why are you going on dates in the first place? I'm supposed to go out here and give off heck yes energy no. to everyone that no. I No, it's about your internal feelings. Like, if you don't feel heck yes about them, why are you talking to them and going on a date with them anyway? Like, if you're not interested enough to be like, hell yeah, I want to go on a date with you. Then why are you even wasting your time? I, okay, so I, I'd only only say is that I feel like this is it's, it's a little hmm, it's a little dated, a little too black and white. It's a little dated because the majority of dating nowadays, like honestly, it it happens on a lot of these online sites, right? People aren't necessarily going out as much as they used to. We don't go out to brick and mortar when we can order everything. And it, it is a problem with the, with society and it's having an effect. But most of the dating I feel like for adults happens online. We're not going to high school or anything like that to meet other people. You know? All right. I mean, you so, got to go out and be, you got to try to be social to meet people when you're old. I feel like there's such a different standard and like who a person is over text or through phone calls. Versus who they are in person. No, and you're not wrong. And I don't mean with like the initial probably, but like, okay, so say after you meet someone on Tinder, you're chatting a little bit, you go on the first date. Yes. And if it's not a heck yes after that first in person meeting, do you keep talking to them? Do you say, eh, I'll keep them around. Like maybe we'll go hang out again, like whatever. Do you go out on these dates giving off heck yes energy? I go out on the date and if I don't like them after the first date, I pretty much stop talking to them. Yes, that 100%. and that's what I mean. That's, that's what it 100%. is. If you don't feel heck yes about them after one date, uh, then you might as well just cut it. Because if not, if you're just keeping them around, like oh, it's an option. But I still, I still say it's like if I, I've got to give off heck yes energy because no. if, because if they're looking for if you're saying is that they have to give me heck yes energy, then that means that it has to be a mutual give no. off the heck yes. No, what I mean is you can tell if when you're chatting with a girl if she's giving you like heck yes energy or not it, like or even just if there's a difference between like What's it's like how fast do they reply how interested are they in what you have to say are they giving one word answers or are they giving big answers are they do they want to hang out do they not want to hang out all of that criteria is interchangeable between the sexes so you're right flip it now you're saying is that I have to reply on time. I have yes. to send you long ass fucking messages <laughs> to actually care about what the hell you're talking about. I don't give a fuck about what your cat's doing. I have why to, are you what, talking to him anyways? If you don't, I, it's because I don't feel like I have. To, I should be. I have to give you heck yes energy. I don't know you. But I don't do you know get, you. But you have to give. But in order to know them, you got to give them. I some, don't know you, and you want hell. You want fuck yes energy from me? The fuck out of here, how, bitch! How are you? I don't know <laughs> you. Wow. Yes, I like you. Yes, there's a chance. I'm talking to you. That's 
What else do you want from me? Wow. You want fuck yes energy? Get the fuck out of here. I can't even get that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even get that from me. <laughs> I don't even give myself <laughs> heck yes energy. But, I mean, I think it's like, but I think a lot of people, I think the point of it yeah. is a lot of people will will hold on to hope or let people string them along because they're like, oh, I like them. They might go out with me, but really, like, to them, you're, like, a third or fourth or fifth option because they're like, yeah, I'll, I'll keep kind of talking to you because yeah. maybe one night I'll be bored and ain't got nothing to do. And you're, like, hopeful yeah. and, like, whatever, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, that that is true. You got There's definitely the danger of that. Um, So, yeah, I don't know, man. I guess it's the level of commitment has to be there. There has to be a certain level of commitment in order for you to facilitate any relationship. Well, right. And like, I think, I think it, for, like to your point, you don't know them, but you have to give effort to get to know them. And like, you can tell within a little bit, if you're like, I'm starting to like this person, I'm starting to like them more, or I'm very neutral or I'm like, meh, I don't care. But if you get to the point where you're like, I'm meh, you might as well just be like, Hey, I ain't feeling it. Sorry. Yeah. And I, and I, and I kind of, I was joking, obviously when I say, you know, the, about the, me giving that. Fuck yeah, no, 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 I know. Yeah. But it is definitely like, there's a little bit of truth in that where it's like, if I'm giving that energy off and I'm not receiving it back or, they're giving energy off and I'm trying to like kind of duck it a little bit or I'm giving it off and they don't know how to reciprocate because they are socially inept or, you know, perhaps I'm being socially inept in some, to some of their cues. Right. It's a balancing juggling act that it's just, it's very exhausting. Oh, well, yeah. And then the other coin of it, if like, if you're into them. And you're trying to get to know them, and they're more closed off. Then they get turned off because, like, oh, this person's into me. Like, I don't want. Like, yeah, and, it, that, it, and that can be demoralizing, no matter you know what level of confidence you have. Yeah, exactly. It's it's just it's a weird thing, man. But like, I mean, I think it's a good rule. Of, I think it's more for the side of like, if you're talking to someone, you shouldn't be like like leading people on forever that you're potentially interested. You should just like stop yeah. when you're not when you know you're not. Like you know, I mean, we've all kind of kept someone around longer than you probably should have because like yeah, yeah, for whatever yeah, reason, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. you know, whether they were a side chick or like a whatever, and girls do it too. Side dudes, like you know, like oh well, if I ain't got nothing else to do, I can hit him up. He'll be he'll go hang out with me if you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's I've it's been that, I've been that guy. It, yeah, you always it's like having a backup to the backup to the backup. You know, like yeah. they hit you up, you don't reply. You hit them up, they don't, and all of a sudden one day they're like, "What are you doing?" And you're like, "Bitch, what the hell you been? What? Excuse me." <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with being that man. I like him. That's a fun <laughs> role to fill. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I don't necessarily mind being Fair. the guy that you hit up out of the blue. Like, what you doing tonight? Like, yeah. that's a very low impact position. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, never mind <laughs> kind of come in you put your impact in and you, you know, wow yeah so job. i don't know man it's just i don't know I, th I thought it was a good good way to think about it because people do string people along forever uh, yeah and no one will just be like hey i'm not interested sorry i actually saw a girl a few years ago huh. and we hung out a few times and then she was just like hey i'm just i'm just not really feeling it and i was just like that's the most honest shit I've ever heard. Thank you. Like, and then we stopped talking. Like, it was great. Like, there's no ghosting. There was, I was like, I respected the hell out of her for that. Like, because yeah, 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 most yeah. of the time they'll just ghost, right? Like, to be like, hey, have fun. Just I, not feeling no, it. I definitely don't mind the ghost either. I'm perfectly fine with the ghost. Really? Yeah. I don't like the ghosting. I don't. I'm not the type to send a person like multiple text messages. Like, you get, you get one. If you don't answer that, you get one more. Then I never talk to you ever again. <laughs> well, yeah, but so, that's a. Yeah. I mean, you know, one like, oh, maybe you didn't catch the other one. Oh, my fault. Hi. Well, right, because yeah, sometimes like messages don't go through. Like yeah. it is, it is an imperfect system. Yeah, and then I'm fine with the ghost, man. You've made your point, and I understand. Touche. Have a nice day. But there's like a de there's a common decency to be like. There's levels to the shit, though, man. There's, like, me who is, like, fine with the ghost, you who are slightly annoyed by it, and then there's that subset of guys who will go on a verbal Oh, tirade. they're like, F you, you F and S. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah. levels to the issue. Yeah, like, I don't like it, and it does piss me off. I have never once went off on someone for no. it. Because I'm just like, oh, they're not interested. I'm like, yeah. I wish they would have just told me. Like, it's, we're wasting each other's fucking time. Like, or whatever. You know what I mean? I mean, like, not anymore. Once you've been ghosted, the time is done. <laughs> there's no more time. Time wasted. <laughs> nope, you ain't wrong. Yeah, so anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to the crazy for joining us. Ghost me, ladies. TNT. We up.